Hey everyone, Steve from Make Your Own Fun here. In this video, I take a quick look at a pretty cool arcade stick I bought from AliExpress that's got a really nice clone Neo Geo style to it. So I got this stick from AliExpress for around 40 US dollars with shipping. There may be a few different listings of it online, so just go with your gut to find the most reliable one. You can see on the box here that from the packaging, it seems like a pretty generic product typical of AliExpress. I've never heard of the brand Retro Arcade Crafts, but it seems like they offer a bunch of different controller styles, all centered around the arcade format. Now after opening the box, which didn't seem very strongly stuck together, we see that it comes with a bit of foam and is wrapped in a bunch of soft plastic. It came with the ball top for the stick unscrewed and was supplied with a spare button as well, which was nice but a little strange in that it seems like they just give you a random colour out of the four. I happen to get yellow. There's no documentation at all, but there's nothing complicated here and it's easy enough to screw the ball top on. You just have to make sure to hold the stick shaft as it will just keep turning around on you if you don't. Once assembled, we can now appreciate what was for me the main selling point of this controller, and that is that it mimics the Neo Geo MVS style control panel. From the main artwork to the button color selection and layout, this is a relatively faithful adaptation of what those old Neo Geo cabs generally looked like. I bought the stick because it really caught my eye and it seemed like it was worth checking out. Given it's only a 4 button stick with a 1 row layout, it's basically purpose built to just play Neo Geo games on PC or whatever can take generic USB inputs. You could also play Tekken or other 4 button games too, but the buttons in a row could make that feel a bit awkward I imagine. After unboxing, there's pretty much nothing else to do but try it out. But first I wanted to see how this stick behaves in a Windows environment. And to do that, I used the trusty inbuilt USB game controller tool. So you can see that there's nothing crazy going on here at all. It's just a simple 6 button USB game controller encoder with a POV hat switch style input for the lever itself. No big surprises here, but good to know that it should be quite friendly with a lot of other programs. Speaking of which, I knew that to test this out on the games I was interested in, I'd have to translate this generic D input controller to an X input controller, meaning I have to make it be seen by Windows as an Xbox style gamepad. To do this, I always try to use the program X output. It's one of my favorite tools to make controllers work well on the PC, it's free and I highly recommend it. Okay, so in terms of games, the easiest way for me to test this stick properly was by playing some Neo Geo games released through the Humble Bundle store using their online Humble Play platform. These games load in your browser and can detect plugged in controllers, so it was super fast to just try a few games out. The controller mapping can be a little confusing however. So I just had to make sure my mappings matched the buttons on the arcade stick so I could have as straightforward an experience as possible. First up, I tried out some Guru Mark of the Wolves. I freaking love this game, it just looks so amazing and I gotta say with this stick it plays pretty well. It took a little bit of getting used to as it always does, the throw of the stick seemed a little large at the start but I can always adjust to that when needed. The buttons themselves feel alright. They aren't the fastest or easiest to activate, but they are satisfying to press and generally responsive. How well they'll hold up day after day, month after month, who knows, but out of the box, they're alright. This arcade stick has quite a small footprint though. You can see it's basically the size of my two hands side by side, and there's not much room to rest on in any direction. The trade-offs here are obviously that it's nice and portable, but you're just not going to be using this for any serious competitive play I feel unless you just happen to practice on this again and again because it's convenient in size. To finish my quick playtesting, I loaded up Metal Slug 3 and Samurai Showdown 5 Special and had a lot of fun with those too. There's just something to be said about seeing all the how to play screens in these games, and just knowing your controller is laid out in the exact way it should be and would have been in the arcades. That kind of makes this all worth it I feel. To wrap up, if you see this stick for sale online and this video has made you interested in it even just a tiny little bit, if you have the money, it's worth trying out I say. It definitely won't replace any other more versatile sticks you have in your collection with 6 or 8 buttons, but for the very specific scenario of playing Neo Geo games on your PC, then I think this is definitely an option worth looking at. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. As always, if you enjoyed it, please like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks!